Oh, well, hi guys, Kevin here. Welcome back to my car building tune episodes. Last episode, I made this Toyota Supra amazing car. Probably the best car I've had on the wheel. It's so stable and it's got the wheel spin there as well, which I don't understand. So, if you want to check out that car, check out my last episode and it'll be there. Also, if you guys want to see a certain car, leave a comment below saying what car you want to see. Um, last episode, I picked the most voted comment. And uh, to be fair, there wasn't many comments. So, there was one with two, th two thumbs up, um, and it was a BMW E46, which is this one. Uh, BMW M3 E4, uh, E46, E36 is a little bit lower, a little bit longer, um, but they wanted it. Also, they left a comment afterwards saying they want an engine swapped. They want me to put an RB or an IN, um, and I think you can only get the RB uh, in this certain car, I think. Yeah, I've, I'm going to have to look. I, I'm not sure you can get an RB, actually. Oh, let's have a look. I have a quick butcher. Alright, let's go to upgrade. All the way to the right. Engine swap, here we go. Uh, 5.7 V8. Here we go, RB. Uh, I think that's out of the... Obviously, it doesn't say like the car name it's out of. But I think it is out of an... Um, R34, RB20, but if anyone knows anything different, uh, correct me on that, but I do think it is an RB20, um, but yeah, there you go, RB is in the e E46, I keep saying, trying to say E36, uh, all-wheel drive, we don't want that, don't want a fake drifting, well, it's not even drifting, it's fake, just fake, <laughs> nothing else to it, it's just fake, bro, that, wow, that looks bad. The force bumper looks really nice, but the downforce would be crazy, so I'm not going to do that. Alright, rear bumper, let's see what that looks like. Looks pretty gay as well, so I'm sticking stock bumpers uh, with the wing. I don't think I'm going to... Ooh, I really like that. Let's do it. I want that. I want it. <laughs> that looks really good. I don't know why. That's just got my, it's got my taste all over it. Alright, tyres. We want sport tyres. Here we go. 5,000 credits for fucking tyres. You have a laugh. Alright, full fucking whip from the front. Two five fives on the front. I'm sorry, why, I don't know why I'm swearing so much today. It's just kind of slipping out my mouth. Um, obviously, we've got two five fives on the front, so we don't want to overweigh it too much. Uh, normally I go for 20 within, which is two seven fives, but as soon as we've got this much choice, I'm, I'm going to go for two nine fives. Let's, let's go for a big whip from the rear. Uh, more whip equals more control. Okay, rims. You're going to choose any rims you want. Uh, BBS suit this very nice. Here we go, the BBS. What are they? Okay. They don't look too bad. I think I'm going to go back to the BBS though. I think a really like multi, uh, multi kind of spoked wheel looks really good on this. I, I'm just going to go back and uh, get the BBS. I uh, really like the BBS on this game. I wish there was more choice of BBS though. Some very nice BBS wheels out there, but having like one to choose from is a little bit leave it. Not gonna lie. Oh, technically there's two, but who would use them? <laughs> Come off it. They look fucking rice as shit. Uh, so let's jump into those wheels. There we go. All right, wheel size. I don't think I'm gonna have to make a. What am I doing? With the wheel size, I don't think I'm actually gonna have to change it. To be honest, it looks okay like that. I'm going to stick with 18s. They look, they look okay. You can make them bigger if you like rice wheels, I guess. Nah, I'm joking. <laughs> everyone has their taste. Um, but that's the problem. With cars, everyone has an opinion. And if they don't like your car, it's shit. Like, and there's, no, there's no getting away from that. So Everyone has their taste. If you like it, it's, it's good. It's good, bro. If you don't like someone else's car, try not to, try not to abuse them. But sometimes you can't help it, so. Anyway, drivetrain was everything race. Platform handling, we want race brakes. We want to stop the car. We want to stop that shit. Suspension. This is going to make it look epic. Thank God I didn't go for more wheel. Because more wheel on the rear would look 
absolutely gay as fuck, so that looks insane. The wheels suit that down to earth. Alright, anti robots, we want fucking race. Why am I swearing? I just keep saying fucking. I can't help it. I do apologize. Try not to swear, okay? It's not good. Because once you say it once, it just keeps coming out. Let's roll cage it. I did have a thing where I didn't like the roll cage if I couldn't see it. Uh, but right now, stiff as you can get it, I like a roll cage. Alright. So now we're on to the good sheet. Good power. So I go for the the standard stuff first. So the air filter, exhaust, kind of like standard mods you do in real life. I don't know why I do it like this, but I just do it. Uh, camshafts are pretty, pretty standard in real life. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, intercooler, we're gonna need you. And oil and cooling, we're gonna need you. Uh, so what power are we at? Three eight six. I want it around five hundred. I want to go big boy. Uh, I'm going to try not to touch the turbo. Uh, so let's go cams. Cams will boost it up a lot. Four nine. We're nearly at 500 with cams. Fuck it. Calm down. <laughs> Fucking hell. I swore again. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Alright. Do I really have to touch anything else? 491 in this car. Is that 520? There's nothing wrong with a little bit more power, I guess. 544. Should we go 544? Uh, let's see what um, let's see what vowels push it up. Uh, five six seven. I never normally put that much power in my cars, but this car it just I think it's gonna be insane. So that is pretty much a car like the upgrades. Up <laughs> that's the upgrades. So if you guys want to copy those upgrades down, go for it. If you want more power, put it in. If you want a different body kit, put it in. If you want different wheels, do it. So it's it's all about experimenting. I'm just trying to show how I tune my cars, pretty much. You don't have to copy my tunes, but if I say it's probably the best tune I've got, uh, you might want to copy it down. <laughs> so yeah, let's jump into a race of Silverstone, and I'll see you guys in a second. Yeah, we're back. I can hear that RB already. Yes, love it. Okay, I've really gone off that wing now. I don't like it. If you're ever going to make this car, do not put that wing on it. From the side, it looked okay. From the rear, it just looks demented. I'd rather like just have a D-wing, but shit happens. Okay, I started that far too late. Far too fucking late. i got to remember, there's quite a bit of power in this car. Gearing needs to go a lot shorter. It's drifting really wide. Okay, we need to tune this. Far too much grip. Too much tire on the rear. <laughs> Shit! It's that wing! <laughs> the wing's just too much grip! Ah! Rip it off! Right, anyway, yeah, I don't know what the fuck happened there. Um, tune setup. Let's take the tire pressure down a tiny smidge. Uh, the gears can go to acceleration. Bring him a lot, lot in. Felt like there wasn't enough acceleration in the car. Alright, front camber we want about three. On the rear we want about a little bit lower. Let's go two point it's two point six. Alright, toe on the front. A lot of people go like free toe on the front. Apparently it gives you more angle or something or more lock on your wheels. Uh well, it don't seem to work for me. I I'll just go for a little bit of toe. Uh, just to aid the car a tiny bit, but you could do what you want. <laughs> Still, what you want, bro? Okay, let's bring this down a tiny bit. Uh, the front is a little bit too stiff, it looks like. Uh, let's bring the front up just so the rear is a bit softer. Ride height can go completely to the bottom. Damping. Ah, uh, looks okay. Let's bring the front up. I like my front stiffer than the rear, so that's fine there. Let's take that one down about halfway of the one above. Braking, I'll leave that. Brake is personal, uh, depends how hard you press the brake. And 100 100, you want to lock that differential. So let's see what that does. That's pretty much like a basic tune. Uh, but hopefully, it'll do a lot better with this gearing changed.
Oh shit! Look at that! What's how is it holding at that angle? That was insane. Okay, shit. That was crazy that <laughs> I didn't even know how he was doing that, bro. Like gear three seems really long, but I think it's about right for this track. Feels a little bit loose in the front, so I'm gonna take the tire pushes down in the front. Maybe take the camber down a bit in the front, but I don't think it'll need it, just tire pressures will be fine. Uh, the front is absolutely all over the place. The rear seems pretty much. But I just need to get the front locked down. Twitching all over the place. So let's jump back in, and I think a little tire pressure change would not go amiss. Okay, let's take the front down. Let's go to like 27.5. I want to have a good feeling in my wheel as well. Uh, when you lower the tire pressures, obviously you've got more grip in the front, so it makes the wheel a little bit more, a little bit more resistance, I guess. That's better. Isn't as twitchy now. Ah, uh, too much. Far too much. It's crazy how much that can hold, though. I'm quite surprised at all. I'm actually really surprised because in, in fairness it isn't really long, long, long wheelbase. Like the Supra is probably about... Uh, Supra is a little bit longer than this maybe, but it's got a fairly long wheelbase, but it's not one of the longest. I wasn't really expecting it to do this well, but... Keep it away! Keep it away! Okay, that feels quite solid. The, the front doesn't feel as twitchy. I could maybe go a little bit lower in the front. Uh, just to give it that extra... Less twitchy, but it's going to be less responsive if I keep going too low. Um, the rear seems pretty much spot on, to be honest. Get the rear out. What are you doing? Ah, oh, I've lost it now. I'm going to take the toe down. There's a toe. Let's take it down point one in the front. Uh, didn't mean to do that. Uh, cast is about right. Yeah, that's fine. We could maybe take down the front a little bit. 2.8. Uh, roll bars and all this shit's fine. Alright, let's go again. I just didn't like the way it came out of that drift then. Didn't like it. Don't like it. But it's, it's drifting quite well to be honest. I think I'm still going to have to go down in the front tyres here. But I don't want it to become too unresponsive, but the front is absolutely all over the place. Look at it. Right, I'm going to take it down, uh, some tyre pressure in the front. Um, it's just not, does not feel good at all. The front is just, it's going like that. The fucking, what is it doing? Calm down, bro. Now let's go down to 26 and see what that happens there. Uh, the rear seems fine to be honest. Alright, let's go. Why is the why is the front pulling out of it? There we go. There we go. That was a lot better on the exit of that corner. Give it another run. Oh, 
I do like this car though, I like the way it goes wide, I haven't really got a car that does that. Uh, when it comes to tandem in, that would be fucking good. Yes, the front didn't pull out. Thank God for that. Yes. Starting to get the feel of this car now. I think it was more me getting used to it than anything else, but... Had to pull out of that then. Oh shit! Alright. I'm gonna take down the tire pressures in the rear. Just a, just a smidge. I don't wanna go too far, but what the fuck am I doing? I was trying to open the menu with my accelerator. Hmm. <laughs> uh, let's take down the tire pressures in the rear, just a tiny bit. Other than that, I think it's going to be fine. too bad, a little bit twitchy, but I think this car's more getting used to it than anything else. Like if I kept just using this car like non-stop, I think it would be a very good car. down a camber in the front. Uh, might as well take down the rear because I want to keep it in proportion. Let's just give that a run. Okay, lost control of the car. Not good. that angle. Oh shit, that angle. That was insane. Wow. I wasn't expecting to hold that then. Fuck. Alright, let's go one more run. One more run and I think that would do. Um, the tune's pretty good, not gonna lie. It won't, it won't be one of my best cars, but I'll pull this out in tandem lobbies. Okay, I've really fucked that up. That was my fault. That was completely my fault. My, my foot got stuck on the wire, and I kind of didn't press the accelerator down. So yeah, I'm, I'm just going to stop it there. Uh, I'm going to go for the tune right now. Um, the tyres, you could go a little bit lower in the rear if you want a little bit more stability, I guess. Um, but they're the tyres. Uh, gearing, alignment. Shit, you better see that. that I went through that a bit quick. Uh, gearing, alignment. Anti-roll bias, springs, damping, aero, the brakes, you can change them to if you like want higher brake pressure shit, and a differential which is locked, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this, that is a tune, and it's a pretty nice car, you should try it out, uh, probably on the controller it would be a little bit better, 
But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time.